Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. Winter Wild Cards has been a fantastic promo this past week, and it's not done yet. Today we are going to have team number two. EA has confirmed that we're getting a second team of Winter Wild Cards. We have some leaks from like 10 days ago, but we really don't know who's going to be in packs today. We just hope that some of those guys that were leaked a while ago are going to end up being in packs today. So there is a lot to discuss about the leaks for today and how those leaks could impact the market, because I really think that how insane the leaks look today because I'm I mean let's be honest guys Friday morning is always a time where we're getting a lot of stuff tweeted out in terms of leaks players are going to be in packs I expect that today but how good those leaks look will probably impact how the market moves today if the leaks look really good there could be some panic selling and that's what I want to talk about with the market today as well it could be a very interesting day on the market as most of the market right now is still very very high as a lot of people are buying teams playing weekend league with that extra demand for the weekend league this weekend with so many more people able to play because they were gifted the qualification points that's really impacting the market a lot as we see with prices being up so there's a lot to talk about today especially this winter best of what in the world is going to go on are these cards staying in packs are they going away from packs there's a lot to talk about today so if you're excited for winter wild cards team 2 hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's start from the top and talk about winter wild cards team number two and then we'll go through everything else related to the market and even look back at yesterday's content a little bit as well the only thing we know about winter wild cards is that ea said there's going to be a team two on well today december 30th the last promo of the year right we can pull out all of those it's the last time of the year that we're going to have this jokes and stuff like that now these are the leaks that we had a couple of weeks ago basically a week and a half Allen St. Maxim. We've talked about these. You guys might remember these, but just to roll through them really fast, there are some big name players in here, right? Allen St. Maximin, one of the most hyped. Benzema, right? Some people think that this might be our SBC player. Personally, no SBC has been as big as this Benzema so far during Winter Wild Cards. I think it'd be a bit too big to drop this guy as an SBC. I mean, I could be completely wrong. I'd love to be wrong. A Benzema SBC would be nutty. But I feel like this is going to be a card in packs uh, as a part of the promo team. That's a card that has been leaked. Robertson with five-star skill moves, right? There might be a new best prem left back in town. That'd be a fun card a lot of people would like to use. Of course, also in the Premier League, we have an Adama Traore, four-star, four-star. A lot of pace in this card, right? Kind of reminds me of that Dan James, but it's Adama. So he's got some extra hype there. Prem strikers maybe take a hit because of this guy dropping into the game today. We'll have to see. Kimmich, this is one that I'd be excited to try out. Really, really good card in game. I know he's going to be cheap because 76 pace, he's going to end up being a bit cheap. But that card looks really interesting to me. And then, of course, we have another very highly touted leak, Varane. Stats expected. Doesn't look that nuts, right? But still looks very good. And it's a Varane special card, one we have not seen yet this year. So these are all cards that we maybe expect to see today. But again, without a loading screen, without a lot of information, we are just left asking the question, who in the world is going to be in packs today, right? Those leaks and nothing else from a week and a half ago really tell us, I mean, we don't really know. Like, that's just the confusion of today. What is going to be in packs? And that's why I really think that the leaks today, whether Foot Sheriff comes out and the, the leakers on Twitter come out and say uh, that, you know, the same cards that were leaked, you know, a little while ago are going to be the ones in packs today, if they say that, or if they start throwing out some new and different names. I mean, the cards that we have leaked, how many cards did we just look at? Like, what, six, seven different cards? That's like less than half of a promo team. So hopefully today we get a lot more leaks and a lot more big name players because I would love for Winter Wild Cards 2 to be just as hype as Team 1. And let's be honest, that's how it was last year as well. Team 2 was really, really hyped just like Team 1 was as well. Now the other things that we maybe know about today... Oh, there's one card I didn't show you guys. This uh, Milinkovic Savage goalkeeper card. Serie A goalkeeper with 99 speed. That's one of our other 99 stats that we're expecting to see today. We do know about one of our objectives, I believe. And that was Foot Sheriff tweeted the um, Ahmed Musa um, ob objective card that was supposed to be a part of content today. That was leaked a while ago. Guys, I have to scroll so far back. Uh, you know, maybe this is going to be one of our SBC players today. Uh, Bella Garde, that could be a fun, cheap um, French center mid that EA could drop in the game. Of course, this SBC is one we've been looking out for, and so is the Eric Bailly SBC. I feel like I've been asking for the Eric Bailly, like EA, I kind of want this to drop. I want to see how it impacts the game because I feel like a lot of people would want to do this to link to Payet, to Genduzi, stuff like that. So whether 
whether Eric Bailly comes today, whether it is um, Belagarde, or maybe it's none of those guys. As, of course, yesterday we had a surprise Maxime Hullet SBC dropped. One of the coolest things I've seen EA do in a hot minute. Uh, who knows what the SBC content could be today as well. So, again, really, I know I, I don't like saying this, but the leaks today, and I don't like, you know, focusing on leaks so much, but the leaks today are going to be the main point of panic and just the main point of how the market moves today because if the leaks look really really insane you're going to start to see people sell off cards and i think that could create a really good window to maybe buy some cards um, and to maybe flip some cards right i have a couple promo items still that i have invested in right now hoping for a quick flip for a, a short rise i think that with a lot of the market being as high as it is including these winter wild cards from team one that are going to be going out of packs wow conte just hit 920 talk about some rarity i mean guys these these cards are already starting to rise as we get towards the end of the week just because that's how the whole market is going but a lot of this market is just so high right Kane was 180,000 coins yesterday. Diego Dalot, 160. Casemiro, 187. You look through some of these older promos, the cards just keep going up. Kamavinga exploded yesterday. Pedri is even going higher. Hakimi just keeps going higher. Genduzi, 174, right? So for a lot of these cards that are out of packs that just keep going up and up and up on the market, watch for some panic selling today. If there are some hype new cards that are dropped with all the leaks and probably some of the Friday chaos that usually goes on, I think that it's going to be a really, really good opportunity today to trade on cards that are being panic sold before the content drop today, buying them a little early, maybe even before 6 p.m. content, whether it's winter wild cards, like we said, whether it's some of these um, promo cards, maybe you look at some like Path to Glories that are pretty rare, um, you know, maybe it's like a Goretzka. Maybe it's a Kyle Walker 685, you know, stuff like that. I think if you see good panic selling today, you might have an opportunity to buy it and then sell it later on in the evening after prices maybe start to rise back up a little bit. Because again, that's the one thing we've been talking about all week is there is game play demand. So if you have your team right now and you're like, Nate, should I be selling my team? Again, it's the only risk right now is they drop some really, really insane leaks today and people start to panic sell because like, oh my goodness, I'm going to sell what I have because what is about to be dropping in this game looks absolutely nuts, right? That's the only risk that you have um, in not selling your team. So if you want to take the cash on stuff that is up, you can. But then again, you need those leaks to come out to get yourself some good opportunities uh, to make coins and to buy cards at a lower price in that panic later on to today. So that's kind of the risk, right? We're just waiting to see what EA is going to do with content uh, and decide whether it's going to be a hype day or not. Remember, we've had so many Fridays this year where the content has not been that hyped, where right now it feels like there's not a lot of hype for tomorrow just because we don't have a lot of information. We don't have a lot of leaks, but there's been so many times where it's not been that hype and other players that get panic sold or from the most recent promo team just explode in price because people are like, all right, this new stuff is just mid. I'm going to go back out and buy stuff that I know is good from one of the most recent promo. So going to be a very, very interesting market day, but I think it's going to be a fantastic day to make coins on this market. Now, the stuff that I would watch out for is again, your normal stuff. Like guys, there is going to be supply today, right? We're gonna get the lightning rounds. We are going to be getting um, this the store packs. I would be probably expecting another token in the store today as well, right? We mentioned it at the beginning of the video. Last week on Friday, I'm pretty sure they dropped three token packs they dropped or took three tokens for winter wild cards i'm pretty sure they dropped one in objectives in sbc and one in the store and if they do that again today on friday which i personally think they might do that would take us all the way up to 20 total tokens we are on 17 right now including the store pack from last week we are on 17 tokens in total that also includes the uh, pack that's in the moment store uh, so for people that want to do the 83 times 75, as we're calling it, today might be the first potential to get that if EA are nice enough to release three tokens for us. And that would be so nice for people that are crafting Jarzinho, crafting all these great SBCs that are out right now. So moral of the story is there will be supply today. There will be lightning rounds. There will probably be store pack. Could they introduce that 500k store pack again? Maybe. I think there's only like one card from the pack code that was added a couple of weeks ago, like that 84... Uh, uh, rated pack with 10 rare golds in it all untradeable the icebreaker pack i don't know if i don't remember seeing that maybe they've dropped it but we're probably going to have that you know maybe the snowstorm pack maybe that winter special pack will be back this weekend just because ea know they can make some money off of that so i would say watch out for that sort of thing as well 
in the store. There will definitely be supply, but again, I do think there will be a nice bounce back on the market just because there will be so many people playing Weekend League and there's so much demand there. And that's again the reason why the market has been so high this week because everybody or at least a lot more people have opportunities to play in the weekend league right now uh with the way that ea gave out those tokens so that's kind of what i'm looking for today is that panic hopefully we have some opportunities to buy and to trade today or some opportunities to get cards for your team at a low price see them rise into the night on friday tonight now let's talk about fodder a little bit too because we said there's some demand for SBCs and crafting and fodder i would expect to drop a little bit today i would i think your 83s that are still a bit inflated with tradable supply here in the game today i think you'll see fodder probably drop a little bit around the content time but then afterwards you might see it rebound back up just a little bit because again People are going to be getting those packs. They're going to be getting coins from weekend league rewards, going out and doing SBCs. And if fodder drops, what's going to be cheaper? Well, the SBCs that everybody wants to do right now are going to look cheaper. If you, I mean, let's say fodder drops today and some of your 91 rated cards like Benzema, who may be out of packs, but Lewandowski, let's say he goes down to like 51,000 coins. That's going to make this Jarzinho SBC drop a considerable amount in value like imagine fodder goes down enough today for this jarzinho to be like 900k flat in terms of uh the price to craft him from scratch that's going to make a lot more people want to go out and do a card like this especially since they probably opened packs and got some more cards in their club anyway people are going to be getting player picks from objectives and rewards so if fodder goes low today in the first couple hours after content feel free to stash it. I mean, not expecting huge gains in the next day or two, but that might be one of the best times to buy fodder this weekend earlier rather than later, just because, again, we're just going to be getting more SBCs and a lot of people are crafting. More people will be getting their swap tokens and their fodder packs by the end of the weekend. So I think an earlier investment today on fodder, if it drops in the first couple hours, might be the place to go with the fodder. Now, speaking of the last thing regarding packs, regarding stuff in the store, these winter best of cards. And just like we think about the winter wild cards for an out of pack investment, like we talked about yesterday, I, I like a lot of those cards. They are continuing to rise up a bit right now. If there's panic today, we like those. If the winter best of packs, and we're, I, don't, I don't even know if we're going to know this today until the content drop, but if these guys are going out of packs, some of those cards, I think, have incredible opportunities to rise out of packs as well. I mean, I think about this Nkunku card who was 1.9 million coins. Right now, he's 1.7, well, low 1.7s, right? Even on the cheaper end of things, I think of like a Lissandro Martinez. Um, as a Manchester United Lynx guy with a lot of Manchester United cards that are going to be coming into the game uh, with its Varane. You know, we've got some other Man U cards recently like the Dalo, the Casemiro, and stuff like that. I mean, a card like this, yes, it got supplied a lot, but it's still a decent player. Argentina Lynx are still hype. Could this rise up out of packs? Absolutely. Pulisic, right? I was able to pack one from my 85 times 10, but this card was like 70,000 coins before he went back into packs. Pulisic right now is like 38K and rising. He was down all the way at like 35,000 coins yesterday. So if these guys are not in packs and they're leaving packs today, some of them will definitely rise back up in value. Now, the only problem is if they are in packs again today, they are going to get hit with a lot more supply and they are probably going to drop and get panic sold a lot more but it just seems like ea would take them out of packs today could they potentially re release another best of there's potential for that they could put in the newer version of messi the newer version of mbappe different path to glory cards maybe like Vinny jr or kyle walker maybe different phenoms like militao or jude bellingham they could do something along those lines today as well but just a reminder the winter best of last week dropped on christmas sunday so maybe they don't drop another best of until this coming sunday the first of the year we will just have to see, but that's a big part of the market today. That could impact a lot of card prices and still so confusing because we have no information about this. All they say is they're now available in packs. They don't tell us how long. They don't tell us what cards. It's mad annoying, and I hope this is the only time that it ever happens, and hopefully nobody gets burned by EA putting different cards in packs today if they do that or later on this weekend. Yeah, that would just be a huge situation. So I'll try to tweet out, of course, um, if we see there's new cards in packs, especially on the weekend, I'll try to tweet out and say, hey, guys, like this is happening once again, like I did last week. So, you know, you see those cards and, and what's in packs. And then, you know, there's it's just one of those things that you can't control. But 
sometimes people lose a lot of coins uh, because that stuff is happening and EA make those decisions that they do. So it's going to be a very interesting day of content today on a Friday for sure because we just don't know a lot right now. Now, a couple things to talk about. Stuff that happened yesterday on this game. We have to talk about this a little bit. First of all, we all got gifted a free Pele Tifo, which is a big W move from EA Sports. I've got it equipped. I think if you go on the market, even if you take a look at like the Santos and the Brazilian um, kits, a lot of this stuff is extinct. Obviously, RIP Pele. What a legend. What a goat. And it's nice to see EA um, honor him in this way and give us all the Pele Tifo. Make sure you activate that. Make that your active Tifo. Show some love in the community. You're going to see a lot of people with that Tifo this weekend. So that's a nice gesture from EA. Uh, a little pop-up message showed up in game. Some people was like, yeah, you know, drop a Pele SBC, but it's, you know, maybe at some point during the year. That'd be fantastic. But for right now, I think that was a nice gesture from EA so that we can kind of show some love and support. Now, I have to mention this because we, we covered the market. These Pele cards on the, on the game... There was a mass rush to go and buy Pele's on the market yesterday. Now, you can question the motives of everybody that did this yesterday for sure, but it's just tough, right? It's really, really tough to point fingers and say like, hey, why'd you do this? Or hey, this was a terrible thing to do. Uh, because when whenever this happens, I mean, we've had it happen a couple times now, right? Most recently when Maradona passed away, uh, you saw people go to the market and buy Maradona's cards and his cards flew up in price. What happens is that people fear that he's no longer going to be in packs, that he's no longer going to be in the game. They're going to remove him from the game. So they want to buy him and, you know, have him in their team so they can use him, right? So this Pele base card uh, was 2 million coins, 1.9 before the news broke. And when the news broke, this Pele actually sold at 2.7 million. He went all the way up there. He went back down to 2 mil. And right now he's still a bit up in price, but not super duper inflated. Now, again, to my knowledge, the Maradona situation was its own thing, right? It all comes down to the rights, right? It doesn't just mean that since Pele has unfortunately passed away, that his cards are not going to be in packs anymore. That is not what that means at all. It just comes down to the rights. And if the people that own the rights to Pele say they would like to keep them in the game, then they'll stay. But with Maradona, there was an issue where they did not want that or there was a mix up or whatever. And so Maradona was removed from PAX. If you guys remember that a couple of years ago, I, again, we don't know until EA says something about it. So I would not fear right now that Pele will be taken off of the game. Um, if we start to hear rumors about something changing, then, you know, it is what it is. But um, a lot of people are also going out to the market and, you know, wanting to use Pele because, you know, I, I've never used a Pele card in, in any FIFA ever besides like, I, I don't even think I've ever tried a Pele card out. Uh, so like there's even a little bit, you know, now I'm like, man, it would be fun to try out Pele, you know, and just to, to try one of his cards out because I've never been able to use one before and kind of to, to honor him, you know, in a way. So that would be something that I would be interested in. I'm not buying one of those cards right now, but that's, I think, why a lot of the prices rose yesterday and there's extra demand for his card now is because people just want to use his card, right? They want to feel that connection uh, even though he is not with us here anymore. So I just want to talk about the situation a little bit, but I do know there was plenty of people that were making profit off of this Pele yesterday, um, and that's kind of their own decision, right? We can't control that, but they knew there was going to be people rushing to the market to buy that card, uh, and those price fluctuations did happen. So it should quiet down a little bit this weekend, but just to kind of uh, share some light on that Pele situation, uh, I want to talk about that. Now, also yesterday, we had another Icon SBC with Maldini, which is a W value icon once again. I know it's the base version of Maldini. Some people will say this card's outdated. Whatever it is for you, this card made center backs drop yesterday. So there is demand for this Maldini. If you go and take a look at some center backs, stuff went down. Cordoba went down. A lot of your Serie A center backs went down because of the Italy links, I think. Um, and this card is coming in. He was 400,000 coins in the market even after being panic sold yesterday. This SBC is coming in at a very good price of 300,000 coins, a little bit less than that so easy to craft as is the jarzinho so big w from ea on the price of the maldini and then also yesterday probably one of the coolest svcs that we have seen ea do in a long time maxime hullet rude hullet's son basically they mirrored his base icon card it's the exact same card that they gave 
his son Hullet. If you take a look, it's actually uncanny. It's it's hilarious. The same overall rating, the same alternate positions, the same everything except for the in-game stats are different, right? Even they boosted him to a three-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, just like uh, Rude Hullet's card is. So the only thing that's different are the traits and the in-game stats, but it's so cool, right? To have this card for 30,000 coins and you've got a lot of Air Divisie links rising in price because of this, specifically Gakpo. Now, Gakpo is already up because of the transfer to Liverpool um, and people think that this card might upgrade to a Liverpool card, which it definitely will not, but just hype around the transfer in general. This card exploded yesterday, rose to about 60k, was getting listed, 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 and then just kept going, right? Because this um, Hullet SBC is just one that so many people want to go and do. So, props to EA because that is just an absolutely fantastic uh, SBC from them to drop yesterday on the game. Now, other than that, uh, it was it was just an average content day yesterday. If you missed the token, the swaps token from Winter Wildcard Swaps is in the very first squad of marquee matchups. It's in the very first squad. Villarreal versus Valencia. It's right in here if you have not seen it. It's one of the rewards right there. So make sure you get that done uh, today as you're on your token grind. And yeah, it's going to be a very, very interesting Friday on this game today. I think I'm going to list up my Kevin De Bruyne right now because... I do think Kevin De Bruyne could potentially go higher, but I would love to take the cash and then see where he goes a little bit later. Yeah, 1269 and 1274. I'm going to monitor his price. I bought one of these at 115, and it's definitely in the profit zone right now, but we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that card. I'm going to make some profit tonight and then hopefully make some more profit today on Friday. Should be a really, really good day to trade. So if you want to watch us trade and trade with us live on stream, check the Twitch link down below in the description. We'll be streaming today around the content drop of Winter Wildcards team number two. But if you enjoyed today's video, hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will see you guys on the stream today. Peace.